Yo guys, and welcome back to Anthony's Espresso Equipment. My name is Alexander, of course. And today we are unboxing and gonna be testing out the brand new from DeLonghi, just released today, True Brew, which is a brand new innovation from DeLonghi. I am so excited to check it out. Let's crack this box open and see what we got going on. Let's uh, get the trusty skizzers. Get this open. We're gonna make some coffee. So totally different style of machine than we've had previously. Obviously we're doing a lot of espresso machines, but this is actually a coffee machine. So different style. So the actual true brew functionality, obviously we've got the eco chalk and the actual machine. We can get this out, maybe off. Okay, here we go. Now I have yet to see this. I have seen photos, I have seen videos. Ooh. But this, this is cool. Obviously we got our instructions and stuff in there. I'm just gonna leave them in there for now. Don't really need them. We'll figure it out. But we've got our True Brew. This is cool. This is a, a big coffee machine. Now let's get this plugged in. So we have it ready to go. Now, this massive thing on the side is the actual water tank as well, which is very nice. It's a big water tank, so. Fill that up, got uh, reverse osmosis here, so don't need to throw the filter in, which is nice, but always a good option if you are gonna do it. We're making a whole bunch of drinks. I mean, we're gonna make a whole bunch of coffee, but we're gonna use regular mugs, we're gonna keep it simple. So this just pops right onto the side and stays on the side. That is, that's sleek, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Now, obviously, massive tray on the inside, so stainless steel tray. And then we've got our, our grounds on either side where the pucks are gonna go. And then we have a actual stand as well. So depending on the size of the actual uh, cup of coffee that you're gonna be doing. So we have all of our options. More likely than not, you're gonna use this for like the espresso or maybe even an eight ounce. Um, and then you've got all of your different options. So you've got an espresso style. It's not technically an espresso. Even if you chose to use like a slightly more espresso style bean, you're still gonna be making coffee. You're not gonna be making espresso or an Americano. It's not the same kind of machine. So there is a little bit of variance in that. I mean, we still have some of the great grinding features that we've had on some of the previous models for the Dynamicas, which we all know is that's some of the best bird grinder in the industry. Um, and then on top of that, we have all of the options. So we've got a, a three ounce, which is, as I said, an espresso style. And then this is the actual model with the just regular setup. There is also one that makes larger drinks as well. So this is the, the base model. And then we also have the model that also has the thermal carafe. So we don't have a video of that right now, but hopefully we'll get an opportunity to do that as well. And then hopefully we're gonna get a chance to give one of these bad boys away. So as I said, we've got our three ounce, our eight ounce, 12 ounce, 16, 20, and 24 ounces. So you can put these in big tumblers. Uh, I should have a tumbler in the cupboard and then we'll, we'll crack that out. But we're gonna start off we're just gonna make some basic coffee, um, but let's get it started, at least turn it on and get it ready to go. We've got our water in there, just actually turn it on. We're gonna throw some beans in there, a lot of beans. Nice hopper on the top, it's a nice location. And then of course, if you are gonna be doing more coffee, you are gonna possibly be using um, pre-ground as well. So obviously the pre-ground slots in the back, just gonna fall right into the tray, which we all know got to warm up and then it's actually got to get started as well. This is brand new out of the box, so we haven't had an opportunity to use this yet, but as I said, very cool machine and it's going to be it's going to be awesome actually using this for the first time. So, no adjustment on the grind setting. That's interesting. So typically as we usually have with some machines, we got to dial in the grind settings with this. We don't need to, which is very nice as well. So as we've got set up right now, it's asking us to set up the time. Um, we can change in our settings, different time. Uh, we're gonna set it to the actual time right now. Might as well, right? Now what this is gonna give you the option to do is actually um, preset so the times that you want the machine to turn on and then actually brew your coffee. So if you want like a fresh pot of coffee, in the morning or you've got your mug already set up and ready to go, this is gonna give you that off. We're just gonna go ahead, get this all set up, just so it's ready to go, and then 
we will be off to the races making some coffee. And then we are gonna try an espresso as well. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how it is. Oh, we're brewing something and I didn't even mean to. But we are brewing a espresso style. What we're starting off with right now. So let me even realize that we're starting off with it. So simple, it's nice that it has all of the uh, options so it actually shows what you're what you're getting out. Um, it looks like you have to do this one first, kind of get the machine calibrated and ready to go. And then from there, you can actually get an opportunity to do all the other drinks that you want to do as well. As I said, you can change the size. So we probably have to toggle the size here and then select, and then we're going to choose the type as well. So say we want to do uh, a light roast. We've got it set for light roast right now. We want to do like a gold roast. We just hit type uh, and then change it accordingly. And then we have all of these other options. But, so we're good. So it has brewed and then this is our coffee style espresso, if you will, or espresso style coffee. So as you can see, we've got water that was dispensed from before to clean it out. So we've got water. This comes out as well, so this tray comes out. So that was just getting cleaned through, and then this comes out as well. So we've got our espresso grounds in here. So two different trays, two different functionality features. Um, and let's get cracking. And that feels so nice, like it's so nice and sleek. And I mean, it is a larger, it is a larger machine. It is only gonna fit in certain places depending on how high your cabinets are. This is might have a height restriction. It is gonna be a little bit taller than some other machines that you're possibly going to get. But in comparison to pretty much anything else, I mean, for the bang for your buck, you're getting an incredible machine for such a great price. And as I said, you can get it with a big thermal carafe, which goes up to 40 ounces. That's a lot of coffee, but if you're doing that for your entire day, you take that thermal carafe with you and you're good to go. You're just pouring it in mugs all day and you're ready. And then that thermal carafe is gonna give you the opportunity to actually keep the coffee warm all day long or scolding hot for that matter. <laughs> but it's gonna give you the coffee that you want, not the coffee that you're hoping for. You're gonna guarantee it every time. So let's try out this espresso. Now it's not as strong as like a regular espresso would be, but it is still good. Like I definitely taste an espresso, I don't just taste coffee, like what's nice. It's definitely dialed into the right settings, I would say 100%. So definitely a good option there. So let's get it cracking. Let's try out some of these other features. We're gonna change the size. So simple as just pressing the size button. I'm gonna make myself an actual 12 ounce. I wanna do, I, it was on a light roast before even for that espresso. So I'm more of like a bold roast style. We've also got an over ice and then obviously the ground coffee's got its own separate button, which is nice because it's going to dispense differently. So you don't want the machine to get confused and then you're gonna assume why I've got no beans in there, why do I have ground coffee, or you want to try out a specific ground coffee, you put it in there and then just do it based on that because you're gonna know already what to expect when the ground coffee's coming out. You've had it ground for a reason, right? So. That, and then we've also got the over ice functionality, which is sweet. So we're all gonna be able to do like a nice iced coffee. I'm not a big iced coffee drinker, but we can definitely set that option up. So we're gonna go with bold and then we get to go. Now, I'm gonna put this down. I like this little tray. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how much weight it's gonna hold, so. Better safe than sorry, we're just gonna go for that. I'm gonna let that dispense and I'm gonna get some ice for us as well. I think I set it a little bit too low. It's okay, nothing, a bit of paper towel can't, can't wipe up. My girlfriend's gonna kill me. There's coffee all over the counter and water all over the counter. Whoops, this is not my house, this is hers. And I have water all over the counter now. She's gonna kill me. So, ready to go. 12 ounces is the right amount for that. So, glad that we've actually got that dialed in. We're good to go. 
Um, so now it's actually just dispensing on the back end. So it's not completely done yet. The actual coffee is done being made, but that's not the entire process. The entire process is the dirty water coming out onto the side into one dispense. And then on the other side, you've also obviously got your coffee puck that's gonna come out on the other side. So that's the, uh, the mix between the two. And that's why you're gonna, when you take this tray out, you're gonna see the, um, the reservoir on both sides. So just wipe up what I have spilled. And then let's get it cracking on this iced coffee. So we've got our cup with ice. I'm gonna put that right underneath as well. Um, I would say, I don't know, does it say how many ounces? What do we think this is? Let's say 12 ounces. I'm gonna do an over ice, and then we're gonna brew that. So I'm expecting this to come out a little bit cold to begin with anyway, that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting boiling water, obviously gonna melt the ice, but it is gonna be coming out over ice, so it is gonna be coming out a slightly different consistency than just a regular cup of coffee, like this bad boy. I think I did the over ice functionality wrong. Maybe it can only be so much. There's gotta be more, I don't know. Yeah, I should actually read the instructions. Might be a good idea. Let's figure this out. Quick start guide. Hmm. How do I do over ice? Cleaning. Over ice. Select type. Select the size. I selected my size. Select type. Over ice. Oh, you've got to press. Oh, you got to press strength again. Oh. Gold over ice, bold over ice. We did it. I can't read instructions, but I figured it out. That took insanely way too long to figure out. So we're brewing it over ice now, but, ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. You know what that is? Good grinder and good beans. Good Anthony's beans. If you don't already have beans from us, go pick up your beans. You're not gonna miss out. Well, you're missing out if you haven't got the beans, but you no longer be missing out. But I'm just curious. Oh, okay. It's hot. I was wrong. It's just poured regularly. <laughs> that was a little hotter than I expected it to be. It looks nice though, but I'm happy with this so far. So this looks good. 16 ounces too much. It said pour half a glass of ice. So that's what I did. And I did 16 ounces. 16 ounces was the right amount. 16 ounces was the right amount. So I'm happy with that. I'm good with that. So we've got our iced coffee. Now I might've done just a touch more ice. I don't know. It's cold. It's not freezing cold, but it is nice. You know, ah, that's nice. Sometimes you get an iced coffee. That's good. It's not great. Sometimes it's a little bit too bitter. It's just never made properly. The nice part about this is fresh coffee poured over ice. Typically when you're doing iced coffee, it's just old coffee poured over ice or cooled and then poured over ice again, which is even worse the second time once it's already cold and then throwing it back over ice. It's just, it's not a good fit. And so the nice part about this is it's true coffee right out just like you would be doing with some of the other amazing DeLonghi products that have an over ice functionality, this is a great option. So if you like iced coffee, especially in the summer, this is gonna be a great alternative and this is gonna be a great choice to allow you to get what you really want in a nice summer drink, especially if you're filling this up in a, like a proper carafe, um, you're like a, an actual like insulated thermos, you're gonna get that option to keep it cold the entire time. So take that into account as well. Um, obviously the ice is gonna melt a little bit, so it's gonna be technically a little bit more watery. I wish it came out a little bit colder, but it is still gonna actually generate a very nice cup of iced coffee, so. In the summer, I like doing an iced Americano. I get very warm, so this is actually gonna be a nice alternative that I can keep around. And on top of that, it's gonna allow me to actually enjoy it. Like it's not, it's not leaving a weird taste in my mouth. Sometimes if I have an iced Americano and I get close to the end and it gets too cold or it just kind of gets too watery, 
it tastes weird. And so I end up having like a weird taste in my mouth that doesn't really sit right with me. So this is a nice alternative that's actually allowing me to, to feel more comfortable drinking this from an iced coffee perspective. So I'm glad that I have that option in this. I don't know how much I'll be using it. I do like a hot coffee more often. I mean, it is quite literally blizzarding outside right now. So um, as much as I do it iced coffee, I, I prefer it more in the, in the summer, but it's good to know that the functionality is there to do it. So it's incredible, like the new True Brew functionality. They've done an incredible job, obviously, with the Chronicle Burr, um, the hopper on top. Like we've done a handful of drinks and there's still a ton of beans in there as well, which is super nice. As I said before, the option to actually put the ground coffee and then select the ground coffee, which is not an option on any other machine that I have seen previously. So the ability to do that and then select that option, knowing that that is going to be what you are getting and the machine doesn't get confused and then you get an issue with the puck and then we don't want that. We don't want causing more issues and then more maintenance long-term with the machine. So obviously with us and with the Longy, you get a great three-year warranty when you register the product as well. So if for whatever reason you ever did have any issues, bring it right to us, one of the largest service dealers in all of Canada. So we're happy to help out, but hopefully you never have an issue with one of your machines and you never have to see us after you purchase. So you just come in to buy beans. Um, like I said, all the options to actually clean everything are back here as well. Your grounds are gonna come out on the side over here and then your water as well. So the extra water, which is good. Um, simply to clean the machine, you're gonna be pushing this and taking it out. We don't have to do that right now. And you gotta do it when the machine's off. As I said, your actual water tank, it's big. Like that's a very big water tank compared to some of the other ones that I've seen as well. And some of the other ones that we've tested on here previously. So it's good to see that option as well. The, the variable size on that. And then, like I said, once you've got this plugged in and you're ready to go, you can just set the timer as well. So say I want a coffee when I'm heading to work at 7.30 tomorrow morning, I can set the timer for 7.30. This is just gonna sit on your counter, has a regular, like, just as if you're using your microwave or anything, it's got a clock on it as well. So it's gonna set it like a regular coffee machine, but this is far from average. It's nowhere close. If you're looking for your next coffee machine purchase, and even if you're considering having this as another accessory item for your espresso machines that you currently have, this is the best option. You can get a very simple espresso out of it. It's good, it's crisp. It's not going to have a perfect crema like a regular espresso machine is going to have, but it is still gonna get the job done. So if you want your next best coffee, this is the machine to get. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I had an incredible time actually taking this out, getting an opportunity to play with this incredible machine. I'm so thankful. Thank you very much to DeLonghi and Anthony's Espresso for letting me do this. I absolutely love this part of my job. So thank you very much, guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and have fun. We'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully we can review the one with the carafe and maybe a little giveaway for you guys too.